November 24, 2014 a child went missing that goes by the name of Julius Williston. He was 16 years old and was very talkative and cheerful. One day after coming from school he all of a sudden was starting to act scared and nervous about something. These statements were collected by Jillian's parents. Which made us think what has he done to be at this point? Was he followed? Was he behind something illegal? Or was it something we don't know about? Truthfully we don't know. But we will be starting to investigate tomorrow so we can gather up the clues we got from the parents and what we learned from Julia's lifestyle. We decided to check his room first since it could hold in clues and maybe have reasons how we went missing or what led him to go missing. All we could find was a beaten notebook that contained drawing painted with blood. We don't know whose blood it is yet, but we are assuming that it belongs to Jillian's. Seeing this figure's shape and what he looks like is very confusing and odd. Listen carefully on what the description is and then I tell you the name on whoever wrote this. This figure has long arms reaching down to its long pale skinny legs. Its face covered by a hand that has no leg of an arm. Same with its ears. Its nipples covered by small hands and same goes with its private spot. The figure is tall assuming to be 11, 2 and lives in the shadows of your hands. If you see its eyes it's like a loved one in hostage. Its long arms are his weapons which he uses as rope to tie your neck and choke you down. Then once your daddy rips out your head like a lifeless old doll. Rumors say he can only see the bad and does not even know that the good exists. The way he knows where you are is the power of his hand senses. The figure is pale and looks like it is lifeless. Oh yes I told you about the eyes I forgot one thing about it. His eyes are only used when he thinks it's necessary. They call him Mr. Long arms, 